Adam Johnson, an American professional ice hockey forward, made his mark in the National Hockey League, NHL, with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Though his NHL career spanned over two seasons, he only played a total of 13 games. In search of more playing time and a chance to showcase his skills, Johnson took a lucrative contract to play overseas. He found himself donning jerseys for esteemed European teams such as the Malmo Redhawks, Augsburger Panther, and Nottingham Panthers. Unfortunately, this decision would prove to be fatal. On October 28, 2023, a terrifying scene unfolded during an elite ice hockey league game between Johnson's Nottingham Panthers and the Sheffield Steelers. In the midst of the second period, a fatal collision occurred, leaving everyone in shock. Johnson's team quickly referred to it as a freak accident, but the video footage revealed a chilling moment, an opposing player's skate striking Johnson in the neck. The severity of the incident prompted officials to take immediate action. The arena was emptied as medical personnel raced to respond. Johnson was taken to a local hospital, but sadly died from the injury. He was 29 years old. Let's talk about Dwayne Haskins, the talented American football quarterback who made his mark in the National Football League, NFL. Haskins played college football at Ohio State University, where he had an incredible sophomore season. He set records in the Big Ten Conference for single season passing yards and passing touchdowns. In 2019, Haskins was selected by the Washington Redskins in the first round of the NFL draft. However, after some ups and downs, he was eventually released by the team, but that didn't stop him from pursuing his dreams. In 2021, he signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers, giving him a fresh start and a chance to showcase his skills once again until his untimely demise. Tragic news shook the NFL community on April 9, 2022, when Dwayne Haskins lost his life in a devastating accident. The young football player had run out of gasoline and found himself in a perilous situation on Interstate 595 near Fort Lauderdale, Florida. In a desperate attempt to cross the busy highway on foot, Haskins was struck by a dump truck. But the unfortunate event took an even more horrifying turn when an SUV swerved to avoid him and ran over him for a second time. Haskins was in Florida not only for pleasure, but also to train with his Steelers teammates. Let's dive into the incredible baseball career of Roberto Clemente. He was a legendary player known for his remarkable skills on the field to his philanthropic endeavors off it. Roberto Clemente was a Puerto Rican professional baseball player who spent his entire 18-year Major League Baseball MLB career with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Clemente's accolades speak volumes about his talent and dedication. He won four National League batting titles, earned 12 Gold Glove Awards for his outstanding outfield play, and was named to the All-Star team an impressive 15 times. His contributions helped lead the Pirates to two World Series championships in 1960 and 1971. Roberto Clemente, an icon in the world of baseball, sadly had his life cut short on December 31, 1972, when he tragically died in a plane crash while on a humanitarian mission bringing food and supplies to Nicaragua after a devastating earthquake. He was just 38 years old. Ah, Kobe Bryant, the legendary basketball icon. His career was nothing short of remarkable. From his early days in the NBA to becoming one of the greatest players of all time, Kobe's talent and work ethic were unparalleled. He was known for his fierce competitiveness and incredible scoring ability. Throughout his 20-year career with the Los Angeles Lakers, he achieved numerous accolades and milestones. Not only was Kobe a five-time NBA champion, but he also earned 18 All-Star selections and two Olympic gold medals. His scoring prowess led him to become the third highest scorer in NBA history, but his life would be tragically cut short. On January 26, 2020, a Sikorsky S-76 helicopter departed from John Wayne Airport in Orange County, California, with nine people aboard, Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter, Gianna, and six family friends. The group was traveling to Camarillo Airport in Ventura County for a basketball game at Mamba Sports Academy in Thousand Oaks. Due to light rain and heavy fog that morning, the Los Angeles Police Department helicopters and most other air traffic were grounded. The helicopter, while flying in heavy fog, 
crashed into the side of a mountain in Calabasas, about 30 miles northwest of downtown Los Angeles, and began burning. Bryant, his daughter, and the other seven occupants all died. Let's take a look at the incredible career of Davy Allison. Davy Allison was a legendary NASCAR driver who made a lasting impact on the sport. From his early days in racing to his rise to stardom, Davy left a mark that will never be forgotten. Davy Allison was born into a racing family, with his father Bobby Allison being a well-known NASCAR driver himself. It was no surprise that Davy followed in his father's footsteps and began racing at a young age. He quickly proved himself as a talented driver, showcasing impressive skills and determination on the track. In 1987, Davy made his debut in the NASCAR Cup Series and wasted no time making an impression. He won two races in his rookie season and earned the title of Rookie of the Year. This was just the beginning of what would become an illustrious career. Over the years, Davy continued to excel in the world of NASCAR, capturing numerous victories and earning respect from both fans and fellow drivers. His aggressive driving style combined with his ability to navigate through tight spaces made him stand out among other competitors. One of Davy's most memorable moments came in 1992 when he won the Daytona 500, one of NASCAR's most prestigious races. This victory solidified his status as one of the top drivers in the sport and brought him even more recognition. Sadly, tragedy struck in 1993. On July 12, 1993, Davy Allison embarked on a fateful journey in his newly acquired Hughes 369 HS helicopter, his destination, Talladega Super Speedway, where he planned to cheer on family friend Neil Bonnet and witness David Bonnet's debut in the Bush Series. Along the way, Davy also picked up another close friend, racing legend Red Farmer. However, tragedy struck as Davy attempted to land the helicopter inside a fenced-in area of the track infield. The craft unexpectedly nosed up before crashing down with devastating consequences. While his friend miraculously survived this horrific accident, Davy Allison tragically did not. Nick Adenhart was a promising young pitcher in Major League Baseball whose career was tragically cut short. During his brief time in the MLB, Adenhart showed great promise as a pitcher. He made his debut with the Los Angeles Angels in 2008 and immediately impressed with his skills on the mound. He had a strong fastball and excellent control, making him a formidable opponent for any batter. Odenhart's career reached its peak on April 8, 2009, when he pitched six scoreless innings against the Oakland Athletics. Uh, it was a standout performance that showcased his talent and hinted at a bright future ahead. However, tragically, just hours after this game, Adenhart's life was cut short. Shortly after midnight on April 9, 2009, Adden Hart was involved in a car crash in Fullerton, California, just hours after being the starting pitcher in the previous night's game. Police reported that a person driving a red Toyota Sienna minivan ran a red light and broadsided a gray Mitsubishi Eclipse in which Adden Hart was a passenger, sending it crashing into a telephone pole. The driver of the car in which Adden Hart was a passenger, Cal State Fullerton, cheerleader Courtney Stewart, as well as another passenger, Henry Pearson, were pronounced dead at the scene, while Adenhart and John Wilhite, another passenger in the Mitsubishi, were taken to University of California Irvine Medical Center, where Adenhart died as a result of his injuries at the age of 22. Wilhite suffered internal decapitation and survived after undergoing five hours of surgery to reattach his skull to his spine six days after the crash. Jerome Brown, a talented American football player, made a name for himself as a defensive tackle for the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFL. From 1987 to 1991, he dedicated his entire five-year career to the Eagles before his untimely passing just before the 1992 season. During his time in the league, Jerome showcased his exceptional skills and was recognized for his talent, by being selected to two Pro Bowls in 1990 and 1991. Prior to his professional career, he honed his abilities playing college football for the Miami Hurricanes. Jerome Brown, a talented football player, tragically lost his life at the young age of 27. On June 25, 1992, he was involved in a fatal automobile accident in Brooksville, Florida. 
The accident occurred when Brown lost control of his ZR1 Chevrolet Corvette while driving at high speed and crashed into a palm tree. Unfortunately, both Jerome Brown and his 12-year-old nephew lost their lives in this devastating incident. Rodney Culver had a remarkable career that left a lasting impact on the world of sports. From his early days as a standout high school athlete to his successful college football career, Culver's journey was filled with dedication, hard work, and undeniable talent. Born and raised in the heartland of America, Culver quickly made a name for himself on the football field. His exceptional skills and determination caught the attention of college recruiters. Uh, during his time in college, Culver's star continued to rise as he consistently showcased his athleticism and natural ability. He became known for his speed and agility on the field. Rodney Culver would go on to have an impressive career as a running back in the National Football League, NFL, playing for both the Indianapolis Colts and San Diego Chargers. He showcased his skills on the field for four seasons, leaving a lasting impact on the league. Unfortunately, Culver's life was tragically cut short. In a tragic event, Rodney Culver and his wife Karen lost their lives in the crash of Value Jet Flight 592 on May 11, 1996. The couple left behind two young daughters facing an unimaginable loss. However, some justice was served as a settlement was reached with Value Jet, compensating Culver's family with a sum of $28 million as a form of compensation. Jose Fernandez was a talented and highly regarded professional baseball player Born on July 31, 1992, in Santa Clara, Cuba, he quickly rose to prominence in the world of baseball. Fernandez made his Major League Baseball debut as a pitcher for the Miami Marlins in 2013 and quickly became known for his impressive skills on the mound. During his brief but remarkable career, Jose Fernandez achieved numerous accolades and accomplishments. He was an All-Star selection in 2013 and 2016 and won the National League Rookie of the Year Award in 2013. His pitching ability was second to none, with a fastball that consistently reached speeds over 95 miles per hour. Tragically, Jose Fernandez's career was cut short far too soon in 2016 at just 24 years old. On September 25, 2016, tragedy struck when a boating crash claimed the lives of Jose Fernandez and two other men, Eduardo Rivero and Emilio Jesus Macias. Fernandez, known for his talent as a professional baseball player, was piloting a 32-foot boat that collided with the government-cut North Rock jetty off Miami Beach, Florida. The boat was found overturned on the jetty near South Point Park by the U.S. Coast Guard. It was a heartbreaking incident that shook the sports community. Let's take a look at the career of Corey Lidl. Corey Lidl was a professional baseball player who made his mark in the major leagues as a pitcher, he played for several teams throughout his career, including the New York Yankees, Oakland Athletics, Tampa Bay Devil Rays, and Philadelphia Phillies. Lidl began his professional baseball journey in 1997 when he was drafted by the New York Mets. One of Lidl's most memorable moments came in 2006 when he joined the legendary New York Yankees. As part of this storied franchise, he played alongside some of baseball's biggest names and contributed to their success. Tragically, Corey Lytle's promising career was cut short on October 11, 2006. On October 11, 2006, just four days after the Yankees' season ended, Lytle and his flight instructor Tyler Stanger were flying a Cirrus SR-20 airplane when it suddenly crashed into the Belair Apartments complex at 524 East 72nd Street on New York City's Upper East Side. The plane was flying above the East River past the Queensboro Bridge toward restricted airspace. A strong freak wind from the east due to an incoming weather front caused the plane to be blown into the building as it was making a 180-degree turn. In addition to the deaths of Little and Stanger, 26 were injured in the accident, about half of them New York City firefighters. Let's take a look at the career of Pelle Lindbergh. Pelle Lindbergh was a Swedish professional ice hockey goaltender who played in the National Hockey League, NHL, for the Philadelphia Flyers. He was born on May 24, 1959, in Stockholm, Sweden. Lindbergh had an impressive career and quickly became known as one of the best goaltenders in the NHL during his time. He was selected by the Philadelphia Flyers in the second round 
of the 1979 NHL entry draft. During his time with the Flyers, Lindbergh achieved great success. In the 1984-85 season, he won the Vezina Trophy as the league's top goaltender and helped lead his team to an appearance in the Stanley Cup Finals. Sadly, his promising career was cut short. At 5.41 a.m. on the 10th of November 1985, Lindbergh lost control of his customized Porsche 930 Turbo and struck a wall in front of a Somerdale, New Jersey elementary school, critically injuring himself and severely injuring his two passengers. He was hospitalized in Stratford, New Jersey and declared brain dead a few hours later. His parents gave permission to end life-saving measures and at 9.15 a.m. on the 11th of November, he was declared legally dead after all brain function had ceased. All right, let's dive into the legendary career of Rocky Marciano. Known for his unbeatable record and relentless fighting style, Rocky Marciano is one of the greatest boxers of all time. Born Rocco Francis Marchigiano on September 1st, 1923 in Brockton, Massachusetts, Marciano had humble beginnings. He started his professional boxing career in 1947 and quickly gained a reputation for his incredible power and unwavering determination. One of the defining moments in Marciano's career was his fight against Joe Lewis in 1951. Despite being an underdog, he defeated Lewis and earned the respect of the boxing world. This victory propelled him towards greater opportunities and eventually led to him becoming the heavyweight champion. He went on to defend his title six times before retiring with an impeccable record of 49 wins. With all victories coming by knockout, his perfect record remains unmatched to this day. On August 31, 1969, the day before his 46th birthday, Marciano was a passenger in a small private plane heading to Des Moines, Iowa from Chicago. It was night and bad weather had set in. The pilot, Glenn Bells, had only 231 total hours of flying time. Bells tried to land the plane at a small airfield outside Newton, Iowa, but the aircraft hit a tree two miles short of the runway. Flying with Marciano in the back seat was Frankie Farrell, the oldest son of organized crime figure Lou Farrell. Marciano, Bells, and Farrell all died upon impact. Tim Cruz and his teammate Steve Olin had remarkable careers in the world of baseball. These two talented athletes left a lasting impact on the sport, both on and off the field. Tim Cruz was a skilled pitcher known for his precision and control. He played in the Major League Baseball, MLB, for several teams, including the LA Dodgers, Cleveland Indians, and Detroit Tigers. Cruz had a successful career, earning respect from fans and fellow players alike. Steve Olin, also a pitcher, was known for his powerful fastball. He played his entire MLB career with the Cleveland Indians. Olin's talent and dedication made him an integral part of the team's success during his time in the league. Sadly, both their careers were tragically cut short in 1993. On March 23, 1993, tragedy struck during spring training for pitcher Tim Cruz and his teammate Steve Olin. They were involved in a devastating boating accident on Cruz property on Little Lake Nelly in Claremont, Florida, claiming both their lives. Another teammate, Bob Ojeda, also suffered severe head injuries and had to spend most of the season recovering. An investigation later revealed that the accident was caused by Cruz driving the boat at excessive speed into an unlighted dock. It was further discovered that the three had been drinking on the boat all day at the time of the accident. Let's dive into the inspiring career of Camille Muffa, a talented and accomplished Olympic gold medalist. Camille Muffa was a French swimmer who rose to prominence with her exceptional skills and unwavering determination. She made waves in the sport, both nationally and internationally, showcasing her incredible talent and passion for swimming. Throughout her career, Camille achieved numerous milestones and accolades she represented France in several prestigious competitions, including the Olympic Games and World Championships. Her hard work paid off when she clinched multiple medals, earning gold in the 400-meter freestyle event at the London Olympics in 2012. Sadly, Camille's promising career was cut short. 
On the 9th of March, 2015, tragedy struck the sports world as Camille Muffet, a renowned French swimmer, lost her life in a devastating accident. As part of a group of sports stars participating in the French reality TV show dropped, Muffet, along with nine other individuals, lost their lives when two helicopters collided mid-air during filming in northwestern Argentina. Boxer Alexis Vastine was also on board and perished in the same accident. 